Hello and welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran and this is my place to make myself the best version of me possible. That means being healthy, losing weight, getting fit, even my hobbies because that contributes to who I am and to my happiness. So welcome. I hope you enjoy what you see and I hope that you decide to join me on a journey to make yourself the best you possible. Today we're going to be doing the month review for the month of March, which is past, and we're going to be talking about our goals for the month of April. So here we go. The first goal for March was to track every bite. This is such an easy, easy, easy goal to reach. I think you know where this one's going. I was doing really good because it really is a habit. And then toward the end of the month, I started getting a little bit more sporadic and it just went crazy. There's no excuses other than the fact that I just fell off the bandwagon. Goal number two was to save money. And this one is gonna be put on hold for a while. We're all living in circumstances that are beyond our control. And so that's all I'm gonna say. Goal number three, weigh less at the end of the month than I did at the beginning of the month. Yeah. It's not a whole lot more but it is more. I can try to say all these nice things and say, oh, well, it could have been worse. I could have been. I did not lose this month. I did not maintain this month. Okay. Number four, be active at least four times a week. Finally, a goal that I did. I actually did really well with this one. I was walking a lot on my lunch breaks at work. We were hiking on the weekends. And even after I started working from home, I was running on my breaks and walking a little bit after work. So I nailed this goal. Thank heavens I nailed something. Number five, keep my points in check and not use over my weekly points. Do I really have to admit this one? I don't really want to. Don't make me. <sighs> okay. Let's just put it this way. On one of the days that I did track, I ate 73 points for one day. I only get 34 a day. That was one day. I didn't do well. And goal number six was to have my step count be an average of at least 5,000 steps a day. Nailed this one also. It was actually easy with the runs at lunch with my lunchtime walks and runs and we've been walking a little bit more in the evening and we've hiked every weekend. So it actually has been an easy month to get the 5,000. So at least I had a couple successes. So there you have my goals for the month of March. I am moving forward and I'm carrying over the same goals for the month of April. With the exception of the save money, I would love to be able to say I saved money and that's going to continue to be the goal. But until Jason is back to work and until things are all back to normal, I'm hoping to maintain my savings. But other than that, everything is remaining the same. I have actually set back. I've looked at where I was going wrong. I've looked at what I was doing and I am determined to make April an absolutely amazing month. I don't care what is happening in the world. I know that my choice, my body, I have control over what I'm eating. I have control over what I'm doing in terms of exercise. I can make April a fantastic month. I've got this. You've got this also. No excuses. 
I have set back the month of March. I am moved. Like, click the. Well, hello, Mertz. Thank you. <sighs> Number six, step count. And number six, step count. I wanted it to be, my goal is to be at least an average of 5,000 steps a day. Thank you. Get moving.